Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the McLaren Solus. This car has just been released and it's such a big surprise to the car community. I mean, when you see this thing, it looks crazy. So stay tuned, please subscribe and let's get straight into it. So guys, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. Meet the McLaren Solus GT, which is McLaren's F1 style V10 single seated track car. McLaren has just revealed this car as a single seat track car, which is from apparently a video game, which they have put into a real life car, which is insane. McLaren's new released hypercar, the Solus GT, comes in at three million pounds, naught to 60 in about 2.5 seconds, which is extremely fast. This car has 830 horsepower, which is good enough for this type of car. This car is running with the 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 engine, which is a first for a McLaren because McLaren don't even use the V10. As you can see here, the McLaren Solus GT has a very aerodynamic shape, almost looking like a hammerhead shark in some ways. This car is just a beast, as we're looking at the huge wheel arches at the front and the back of the car, especially with this massive wing, almost like a Senna. As we come to the front of the car, you can see it's almost got a Formula One style layout inside the car. As you can see, on near to the outside, there's some green exposed carbon fibre accents on the back. And you can see the carbon fibre steering wheel, almost like a Formula One car in some ways. Obviously, Alcantara as the seats in this car to stop you moving around in the seat and to keep you in place. Because when you're driving at high speeds in the McLaren Solus GT, you would not want to be slipping around everywhere. As you can see near to the steering wheel, there is a red handle almost, which is the door handle to get out. And you might be asking, why didn't they just add a door handle? And that's just easily to save weight so you can just improve the car's performance just by a tiny slight bit. As you might have found out already, there are no doors in this car. There's just this sliding canopy as the door which is a really interesting feature to this car. As we come to the back here, at the bottom, you can just see these huge rear air tunnels, which you could probably fit a person in almost. As you can see near to the huge wheel arches, there are some big air cuts for airflow and aerodynamics. These help the wind and the air pass through the car smooth and lightly. As we zoom into the car, you can see these two exhausts, which are mid-mounted. They almost look like pipes because they have no chrome or anything on them. They just look like pipes out of almost B&Q. You can also just about see the Formula One brake light, which most Formula One cars have, which looks, in my opinion, really cool on the Solus GT. As we're looking at the wing here, you can see it has such a nice curvaceous shape to it, which is extremely massive and really nicely put onto this car. Almost futuristic wheel pods on the McLaren Solus GT save weight and create a smoother flow of air and downforce on this car. As we come to the front of the car, you can See, it's built for fast laps and speedy times on the track, if you couldn't tell. The huge splitter at the bottom of the car on the front here makes it so incredibly low to the ground, which gives it maximum downforce for racing and track. As we look at the front, just under the canopy, you can see this really nice sporty stripe which gives it that extra look for sport on the McLaren Solus GT. And if you can't see 
just beside each side of the stripes, there are these two LED lights, which are the lights and the headlights of the car. These streaks of light give it this really futuristic look. As I mentioned earlier, this car has a sliding canopy, which you sit on the side of the car and swing your legs into. The speed of this car is not specified, but does say exceeds over 200 miles per hour, which is extremely fast to start with. And this car is also home to 10,000 RPM. As we just come back to the top of the McLaren Solus GT, where the 5.2 litre V10 engine which is naturally aspirated, sits just behind the cockpit here and just in front of the rear wing. The word solus, derived from Latin, means unaccompanied or alone, which suits this car perfectly for its one-seater. As you can hear in the background, there's this significantly loud, nice-sounding V10 engine, which is coming from the McLaren Solus GT. The weight of this car is just coming in at 1000 kg. The car also looks very cool with these 18 inch forged aluminium wheels. My final thoughts on this McLaren Solus GT is that it looks awesome and it also sounds awesome and most likely drives awesome. As I said earlier, the aerodynamics on this car are so crazy with the big cuts and the air vents on this car. In the future, I am also hoping that McLaren make more hypercars like the Solus GT. It appears that there have only been 25 McLaren Solus GTs worldwide made, and they have already all been sold. This car has been so amazing to look at today, and I'm really hoping to see and look at more cars just like this. So please like and subscribe, guys. This video is going to come to an end right now. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.